Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a trigonometric expression. We have 1 minus cotangent 23 degrees multiplied by 1 minus cotangent 22 degrees. So the angles are in degrees, but from now on, I'm not going to write this degree symbol because I think it's understood, right? Hopefully. So whenever you're given a problem like this, what are you thinking, right? I mean, what is cotangent 23 degrees? Is that a special angle? Probably not, right? I mean, 23 is not a special angle, it's a prime number. 30, 60, 90, those are good special angles, but 23 is not one of them. So what can you do? Well, you can look it up. For example, if you look it up in a calculator, cotangent 23 is gonna be about 2.35, 5, 5, something like that, okay? If so you subtract it from one, you're gonna get negative 1.3 something. Okay, and then what about this one? Uh, that's probably gonna be something like negative 1.5 is something. When you multiply those, you're going to get the answer. Wait a minute, can we use a calculator? No, you're not allowed to use a calculator, so you have to solve this problem without using a calculator. Make sense? Okay, let's go ahead and see how we can solve this problem without using a calculator, without knowing the trigonometric values of 23 degrees and 22 degrees. By the way, would you agree that 22 and 23 are pretty, are pretty close? So if you know cotangent 23, cotangent 22 would be kind of close, right? They're only one degree apart, so they shouldn't be that much different. But still, we don't know the value. That's the issue. So... Here's what we're gonna do, and there's a couple ways to approach it. First, we can try to turn this cotangent into something we know. Maybe something like tangent, right? We can write it as one over tangent 23. Like I said earlier, I'm not gonna write the degree symbol from now on because I don't like writing it, but I'm hoping that it's understood from now on, okay? So we have the following product. And definitely, you can make a common denominator. Let's make one. Tangent 23 minus 1 divided by tangent 23 times tangent 22 minus 1 divided by tangent 22. Awesome. Now, how does this help? Well, we can try distributing. Let's go ahead and do that. Distributive property gives us tangent 23 times tangent 22 and then minus tangent 23 minus tangent 22 plus 1 divided by tangent 23 times tangent 22. By the way, you didn't have to do it this way. You could also directly distribute like this, 1 times 1, and then this, and then that, and then finally the product of those two things. That might be a good idea, actually, but we can get to it. How? By splitting it up. So one thing that I want you to notice here is that uh, this is going to give you 1. Of course, that would be automatically resulting from distributing this. Maybe we should just do it that way. So forget about this. Making a common denominator is out. And we're going to go ahead and just distribute it. So we're going to get 1 minus 1 over tangent 22. Later on, we may want to decide making common denominator if that's appropriate. Minus 1 over tangent 23. Again, those are in degrees plus 1 over tangent 23 times tangent 22. Awesome. What's next, right? Well, like I said earlier, you can make a common denominator or just leave it like this. But if you were to make a common denominator, you would probably go like this. You would, oh, by the way, here's what I can do. Just leave the 1 alone and make a common denominator here. Yes, that can be done. So we can kind of write it as tangent 23 by the way, here you have to be very careful because you're taking out a negative sign, so you have to put a plus sign here so the answer is eventually correct. Make sense? So notice that when I distribute the minus sign, I'm going to be getting the minus sign here. Okay, cool. Now this gives you a common denominator, which is super duper cool, and I'll tell you why it's cool. But first, let's go ahead and do this. This is a minus sign, that's a plus sign. So maybe we should go ahead and write this as 1 plus 1 minus tangent 23 minus tangent 22 divided by, you know what, I, I feel like 
I should keep that thing alone. Let me see how I can handle that. I think I'm gonna keep it this way, hold on. So I wanna keep the one here, one over, hmm. Let's see. Um, I wanna bring it into a nicer form, which I can show you, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay, let me just use that one for now, and then later on maybe we can just change it to something else. Okay, and then divide it by um, tangent 22 times 23, or 23 times 22, doesn't matter. Okay, so I put these two together, but I wrote the one first. Now we have a common denominator, one is outside, good. Let's leave it like that. Now here what I wanna do is, I wanna go ahead and change this into something, but I don't know why I can't get what I'm looking for. Okay, you know what? Uh, I don't think this is gonna get us anywhere. Uh, so my goal was to use the formula for tangent alpha plus beta. You know what, I can do it differently. Okay, let's do it this way. I don't know why this didn't work. I probably need to manipulate a little differently, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and consider tangent 45, okay? Why am I doing this? I'm writing the degree symbol once, okay? Because one thing that you should realize about this problem is 23 and 22 are not only are pretty close, but their sum is also 45. So I can actually write the 45 as 23 plus 22. And then from here, I get tangent 23 plus tangent 22 divided by one minus tangent 23 times 22. Okay, this is probably what I was trying to get here, right? And since tangent 45 is one, this should be one. Nice. Now this is gonna give you something, it should give you something nice. So now let's go ahead and cross multiply. That should give you tangent 23 plus tangent 22 equals one minus tangent 23 times tangent 22. Great. Now what do we have? Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Maybe we should make a common denominator anyways. And when we do, we should get something like this. Okay, let's make a common denominator here. Tangent 23, I'll take it from here, okay? This one. Tangent 23 times 22, tangent 22. And then plus one minus tangent 23 times tangent 22 divided by Tangent 23 times tangent 22, right? That's what I have so far. Great. Now, there's a couple of things you can do here. One of them is using substitution. For example, this expression can be replaced. That's a pro is that a product too? Wait a minute. I don't think they're both product. Oh, no, this, is, this should be a sum. Okay, I probably messed up somewhere. Tangent, okay, let me take it from here. Sorry, I just keep messing up, uh, but I'm gonna do it like this. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have to erase that. Let's keep it here. So we know that this, uh, this is the identity I need. So, okay, let's, let's keep this one and then I'll come back to it, okay? So because I need to work on this. So if you make a common denominator, you get tangent 23 times tangent 22 plus one minus tangent 23, here we go. I kept writing it as a product, but that was actually a sum with a minus sign, of course. Divide by tangent 23 times tangent 22. Okay, here we can make some substitutions, such as, first of all, I can factor out a minus sign here. So I can write it as tangent 23 times tangent 22, plus one minus the sum of tangent 23 plus tangent 22, all of that is divided by the product. And then this can be replaced with one minus that. Okay, here we go. So we have tangent 23 times tangent 22 plus one minus the sum, which can be replaced with one minus tangent 23 times tangent 22. Here we go. This should do the trick. And then, oops, that's not an extra two, divided by tangent 23 times tangent 22. Now when you expand this, it's gonna give you tangent 23 times tangent 22 twice because of the double negation. So you're gonna get two times tangent 23 times tangent 22, plus one minus one, they're gonna cancel out. And then you're gonna divide this by tangent 23 times tangent 22 
And here we go, everything cancels out and you end up with a two. Beautiful. So the answer is two. Even though we don't know the values of tangent 23 and tangent 22 or the cotangents, we can still find, simplify this expression. Now, another way to look at this problem, which I'm gonna show you real quick, but since this video I took a really long time, I'll probably just leave it unfinished. But let's just start with the original problem, which was the product. So one minus one over tangent 23 multiplied by one minus one over tangent 22. So here's what you can do. One of these, for example, tangent 23, you can replace with tangent 45 minus 22, and then use the formula, and it would look like this, tangent 45 minus tangent 22, divided by one plus tangent 45 times tangent 22. This is one, this is one. So from here, you're gonna get something like one minus tangent 22, divided by one plus tangent 22. This is gonna be the equivalence of this. And they're gonna flip it and subtract from one. So it's gonna be like one minus this. And then just make a common denominator and just figure out the rest, okay? The rest should be pretty easy. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.